today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial that is like kind of like a fall natural look usually I literally wear three like things for my makeup or four maximum then maybe I will do another tutorial that is like super natural makeup look but today I want to feel more fancy I want to do a little bit something more special so I'm going just to do a little bit more elaborate makeup the makeup tutorial of today is going to be a little bit different because I'm excited to open my heart to you guys and just talk a little bit like one-on-one -on -one about different topics and just getting to know each other a little bit more also before starting I want to thank you for just clicking this video watching this video I know like we're a very very small YouTube channel but I'm very very thankful and it surprised me like every time I have like one view more about my video I'm like who is that person like how are you doing um, thank you so much like I really feel honored every time that like somebody like comments a video of mine like like even you right now watching this video it really means so much for me and I hope really like from the bottom of my heart I hope that you like that video that you feel like entertained that maybe helps you to have like inspires you some way and that you just live with a positive feeling after watching any of my videos of course before starting I'm just going to put my hair a little bit like that so the hair is not in my face and I'm going to use this base okay usually I do very like for my daily life I do a very minimalistic makeup kind of like makeup no makeup look and I don't even use almost ever like makeup on my face I put like concealer and all of that so if you want to see just my everyday makeup comment in this video and I can do another video of like the four things that I use but it's going to be like a three minute video or something because it's a very simple routine <laughs> but today I'm going to be a little bit more elaborate and that's actually what I use like if I'm going to have a date if I want to feel, feel more fancy or just I want to do something a little bit more special this is the makeup base that I use okay this is the makeup base that I use is from Savy Minerals that is the brand of Young Living and I'm fan of Young Living like I have a bunch of essential oils if you want in the link below I can leave, give you my link to be able to be part of Young Living but what I really like about the makeup is that it's makeup free of all of toxic parabens and it's vegan and all of that stuff that everybody wants to not put something but in your face right Okay, what I'm going to do is to pump, pump, two pumps. I'm going to do two pumps on <laughs> my hand, I guess. And I'm going to mix, mix it with acid hyaluronic that is for hydration for the face. Okay, very important before starting. You know that your face is like a canvas and it's very important that it's hydrated that like you have like all of the things before starting to do the makeup and then your makeup will look much much better like more shooey more shiny more all of this kind of effect that we're looking for and right now in my face i'm wearing acid hyaluronic like the serum and then i'm wearing a face cream that also like has like peptides and it has sunscreen very 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 important and now I also I'm wearing like lip balm because I have learned to put lip balm before starting my makeup I'm going to show you the one that I just put is this one that is just kind of with argan oil it's very hydrating and what it does this lip balm is just kind of prepare my lips or any lip balm I mean whatever you have at home for when I put the lipstick because if you put the lipstick directly with like very dry lips uh, that's not going to be like the best look ever okay I'm going to do two pumps so I'm going to keep it anyways pretty natural but a little bit more special maybe than usual I'm going to put two pumps okay here in my hand and then I'm going to put one pump of the acid hyaluronic mix it and put it in my face and 
this time I'm going to do it with a brush, with like a makeup brush. This is this is a your living brush too. Okay, you guys. Um, I have some questions for you. Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> I wonder. I mean, how are you doing? I wonder how are you doing? We like to get to know you a little bit better. How are things for you? Let me know in the comments because I will really read it. Like, I just wonder how, how is everybody? What's up? Like, and all of this. As you see, it almost looks like I didn't put any foundation, but maybe that tone, it looks a little bit more equal. The next step that I'm going to do is to use this Fit Maybelline concealer and I'm going to put concealer on my face and then I'm going to mix it with a beauty blender that actually I have here because I bought it with this little box that I like it because it keeps it clean. It's wet, okay, I just put a bunch of water and, and take it off so it's quite a bit wet, this beauty blender, kind of humid and what it will do with the concealer and everything what it does is kind of like mix it all together in a very hydrating way I just like kind of the shiny hydration kind of look, chewy, glow like that's the word, right? glow <laughs> I'm going to put... okay, I have seen so many videos and so many ways to put the concealer that right now I'm going to do a mix of things that I have seen so if you know a better way, let me know. Okay, I have seen to put it here. I have seen to do kind of like that, like a smiley face. Then to put like around the nose. And I'm going to put a little bit here and kind of up here. Going to put a little bit here and up here. Do you see? Hello! Um, one here, one here. That's mine. That I haven't seen it in any video, okay? <laughs> but I just think it makes my... that part of the eye mm, more light and then it looks better my eyeshadow. And I'm going to make here like these lines like that. Beautiful! And now I'm going to blend it with a beauty blender. Usually if I'm doing any contouring, I do it only with bronzer. And actually this is the first time I'm going to use this that is kind of like for contouring because I'm excited just to try it to do kind of here. I'm going to do here. I'm going to do a bit here, bit here, bit here, bit here, and I don't know if to do the nose or not, but I should do it to you guys. Maybe I try it. Okay. I will try the nose, but very little. Kind of like that. Hello! And I'm going to blend everything again with a beauty blender. It blends so well that the trick of putting like water in the beauty blender, I think it's really working because I think it's a very natural look. After this, I'm going to put a little bit of kind of translucent powder kind of just to fix what I have done just a little bit brand that I was using it's called Rituals for the powder and now I'm going to put the bronzer now actually it's time for the bronzer and I'm going to use the hula or hola I'm Spanish so I will read this hola that is like hi but I know in English you will say like hola but let me know how you pronounce that, please. I know it's a very important brand and here I am not knowing how to say it. 
Okay, I'm going to put bronzer, but I'm going to, to do the shape of contouring a little bit. So first of all, I'm going to put kind of a few smile here, kind of like from here to here a little bit. The same in that side. Here. Then very little bit, I'm going to do the nose very little bit. Actually, it's looking really good. I need to... Now what I'm going to do with the brush that I put the powder, I'm going to blend everything. Good. Just to make sure. This is blend. I'm going to put a little bit of blush. I love blush. I will use this really pink color. Oh, I should wear more like a full dark. No, 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 no. I like the pink one. I'm going to put like this. I think blush gives life kind of a, a happier look, I will say. So I put a little bit of blush here and I put a little bit on my nose. I don't know why it looks that I put so much, but really in reality it doesn't look as I put as much. Okay, this is the blush look. And now I'm going to do, to put the makeup of my eyes. Then I'm going to put illuminator and then I'm going to do the lips, I think. Before starting the eyes and showing you how I'm going to do the eyes, I was wondering if like you're struggling with something in life or not. It's very fun to do this makeup together and it's very fun to to talk about different things also. But struggles in life, I don't know how you feel. But what is this party? I'm going to open the window and see what's up. I don't know if you hear the party. <laughs> it's still daytime, so I don't know. Well, I'm so glad people is having so much fun, to be honest. So if you hear noises and things, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Before starting to do the makeup in the eyes, I was just wondering, how are you doing? And Probably, I don't know, everybody struggles with something. Struggles in life are real for everybody. And I just wanted to encourage you if you're struggling with something. I personally, I'm struggling with a chronic illness and I probably will make a video talking about that because it's a very long, long, longer than I would like to be topic. But I would like to talk more about that because I feel like maybe uh, somebody can feel also related. If you want, I can make a whole video talking about that. I especially don't want to say like, oh, poor me, that I have this sickness or that I have been struggling with that. It's, it's more like the opposite. I feel truly blessed, truly full of resources. I'm a nurse and my husband is finishing medicine, so I feel privileged to, to know a little bit about health, to be able to look for these answers. But there is a lot of people that, that don't have these resources or they feel more lost or maybe they are like, they have a completely different profession that it's not about health. So it's like um, a, a even more complicated topic for them to look for resources and help. And well, I can say that through that process, I have learned more even than studying nursing like about empathy and about struggling with sickness and about how really like somebody sick can feel and I have lived it on, on myself and actually when I make the videos are like my best days but there is days I'm in bed and I'm feeling very sick the days that I'm feeling better and I have a little bit of strength I'm very very excited to do a video to do different things push myself to try and like to enjoy and like enjoy all the things of life you know and then through this process Process also I learned that there is so 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 much people that struggles about health and they have helped me these people like talking with different people has been so helpful for me these people have encouraged me they have like taught me things or doctors like, 
different kind of treatments that it had helped them. I can have a benefit from it. And then people that even have completely different sickness. It can be mental illness, it can be any kind of like chronic illness. There is bunch like Lyme, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia. Diabetes, like there is an endless, unfortunately, of chronic illness. But there is so many, unfortunately, different kind of sickness, different kind of situations. And again, I feel privileged because look at me, I'm here doing this, this video. Of course, I don't record myself. I'm not going right now to show you my worst moments, but at least right now in this point of the year, like at least right now, having like better days, but with that to say, I think in sickness, sometimes there is kind of like loneliness that you feel like nobody else can understand you. And I think maybe nobody will completely understand for what you're going through. But I think it's so helpful to talk with people that is struggling with similar things and just hear different kind of cases. To me, it's been so encouraging. And like that's the reason I'm like throwing that here because I don't want anyone to feel lonely. I don't want anyone to feel alone. If that's helpful for you, I, I will do like videos about like the things I have done and like the things that they have helped me. But the most important thing is to encourage you to keep fighting, to not feel alone, to explain other people how you are feeling, to find people to talk about it that completely understand you or that they have gone through a similar thing. I think it's like so, so helpful. Well, maybe you're struggling with something completely different. Maybe you're struggling with a heartbreak or you're struggling economically or you're struggling like in your studies, in your purpose of life, uh, maybe you don't know why you are in this wall, maybe you have a bad relationship with your brothers, your sister, your spouse, your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, maybe it's just a difficult season of your life for whatever reason, but reality is that all of us face different kinds of struggles, some are bigger, some are smaller, but are still struggles. And well, if just if that will help you even just a little bit, just to tell you that you are not alone. Now by talking, it's coming to my mind, a Bible verse that really encouraged me. Let me pick up my Bible and read it to you. All right. I have told you these things so that in you may have peace. You will have suffering in this world, but be courageous, I have conquered the world. Of course, it would be cool if you read the whole chapter and keep reading because you will find more encouragement. But with that to say, God is always with me and I have found so much strength, so much joy, so much like encouragement in the really hard moments. And I know it can be really, really, really hard. And God is with you in your loneliness. God is with you in your pain. And he cares about what is happening in your life. He is really alive. In my time that I'm suffering, God, really is my pillar and I feel his presence, I feel like his joy, it gives me strength and I really feel like he is with me. I just wanted to say, even if I don't know you, that I really care about you and if you leave a comment with a prayer petition and you don't even need to say what do you want me to pray for because maybe it's just private but you can just say hey pray for me for my struggles and I, I will do, I will really will do Pray. I will really will pray for everyone that comment in this video even if I don't know exactly what is happening in your life I, I will pray for you I just have gotten a little bit deep over here uh, but I'm going to keep going with the makeup eyeshadows eyeshadows are I'm going to do like a fall look well I'm trying to do like a fall look so I'm going to do use like brown Mira, there is this color that I think is very beautiful and I never really use it so I'm just going to use it I'm going to put here and the look that I'm going with my eyes is kind of orangey, brown, golden, more or less okay, now with this palette I'm going to put a little bit of this color also I don't really use and then when I go to the end I kind of try let me show you to do it kind of up here so it makes the eye a little bit more like a almond 
or like bigger or more lifted up. So I don't put my eyeshadow like that. I, I just try to put it up. Now from this eyeshadow, I'm going to take this color a little bit. Oh, look, I'm going to take this brown, actually, this one. And I'm going just to put a little bit kind of in that part of the eye. In that part up. So do you see the difference in between this eye and that one a little bit? Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of this color that is, it has a little bit more of a tone of a pink and I'm going also to put it a little bit like this in that part of the eye and then I will do up a little bit in the bottom and up and I will do the same here a little bit in the bottom and up color and I will put it only in the middle also, I'm wearing like all my jewelry gold and I'm kind of going for this golden look kind of thing. That's how it's looking so far. And I'm going to blend it a little bit with this that is clean. I'm going to blend it a little bit like up. And I'm going to take this brush and what I'm going to do this brown eyeliner actually is from Sephora and what I will do is with this really dark brown but it's not black it's brown eyeliner I'm going to put it in the brush and with this brush I will do my line in the eye and I like it to do it this way because it's a little bit more natural for doing it, I'm going to be looking, I have another mirror here and I'm going just to be looking at the mirror down. Oh, very important. How I do it is I do it from the middle to the end. I don't do it all the way. I will do it from the middle, from the end up and kind of a little bit more thick at the end, okay? You see? Do you see the difference in between the eyes? I think you really can tell this eye different. What I'm going to do is to put back a little bit of concealer here. Just to make sure the eyes look up because sometimes there is like eyeshadow or things that maybe can fell a little bit I'm going to use this brown usually I only brush, there are only brush a little bit but today is a special day I'm going to put this okay, what I do is to fulfill a little bit the gaps that I have I kind of have here a little bit of a gap I will put a little bit more there and a little bit more here but that's all and I will imitate kind of like if I kind of if there were hairs but that's all just a little bit this is transparent the actually is for the eyebrows to make them grow <laughs> but I for the eyelashes to make them grow but what I like is just to use it to brush them up like this and it's kind of like a transparent gel and I will just look at the difference brush and not brush and you can put them more brushy or le less brushy, depends like the style that you like. I kind of like it middle. It's time for the lips. Ah, oh, no, no, no. It's time for putting the mascara. I'm going to use this first. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Counting until 10 in Spanish. So to say, I have done one video in Spanish. If you would like me to do more videos in Spanish, leave in the comments. Please. Because I need to know. My idea is to do most of them in English and some in Spanish. But I would like just to know what you prefer. 
and I'm going just to use the Sephora mascara okay I have a very important question for you which one is your favorite mascara I really need to know like I want to know which one is your favorite mascara because mascara is kind of my favorite piece on makeup and always I'm trying to try new new mascara so which one is best and and okay what I'm looking for from a mascara I'm looking for that is a um, gives volume is long but not too clumpy but sometimes this one is a little bit clumpy but sometimes we're great but I don't know and now look I'm going to put a little bit more of blush just because I'm seeing myself a little bit kind of I need more more blush and I will put a little bit of this the darker one that I say before that I wasn't going to put now I'm going to change my mind what I'm going to do is to take this that kind of gives a glow I'm going to take all of the colors like that and put it here put it there also this kind of gives I mean probably maybe you cannot see it from there but when you are in the sun and kind of like the light it gives like a very nice glow that's from rituals also and then I put yeah with the finger I do like li -li 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 -li, and I put a little bit up there now important step Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter I have a whole video only talking about that I'm just going to leave it here you can click on it and also we'll leave it in my description box if you want to know more about this product that I love I love it I love it and then I put a little bit up here and then I put ping, one in the nose why not and that I'm going to blend with the finger because they say it has a better effect if you do it with the finger kind of it melts better and that gives honestly like a really nice glow I don't know if you can see it. the lips okay I'm going to use the pillow tuck number two from Charlotte Tilbury very important this is the number two I bought it because it was on sale on Sephora and I was like oh I really wanted that pillow tuck from Charlotte Tilbury everybody loves it I want to know about but they didn't tell me and I asked it was the number two so it's much darker than the number one that is the one everybody attacks so it's darker it's good for fall but I will have like more than one but anyways for now that two I think it's good because it's fall but in summer I will like more than one okay now I'm going to do a little bit over lip and a little bit of the lipstick ah, first of all I'm going to dry my lips a little bit from the lip balm I mean look at the difference and with the lipstick I'm just going to do like touch it a little bit kind of it smells really good Kind of like a soft texture too dark right oh no i'm going to put a little bit of this one on top that is a little bit lighter so i think it will mile it down i'm going to put a little bit of hydration on top and you guys i mean i think that's the final look what do you think Let me show you better. Ta -da! Uh, 
This is the final result of, of this like natural fall look. I really hope that you enjoy the video. If you like this video, I will welcome you to subscribe to this channel. If you like makeup videos, I have more makeup videos that I already have done that you can see. One doing the makeup routine of Hailey Bieber and the other one explaining about this product of Charlotte Tilbury that I'm going to leave here in the box. But I'm going to be doing more makeup videos. If you want me to do a special look, write it in the comments. And then I'm going to do more videos also about other things that I'm very excited to show you. I post videos every Wednesday, so I will see you next Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next week. Bye!